What's up guys, welcome back to another GGF mod build video. And today I'll be going over this white and orange themed Cougar build for their PAX booth in Australia. Now PAX Australia is only a few days away, so I was contacted by Cougar a few weeks ago to do a theme build for them for their booth. Now if you're familiar with this case, you probably know this is the Cougar Conqueror and it does come in an all black powder coat finish. So what I wanted to do is I've never done a white and orange themed build. And as you all know, Cougar's colors are orange, that is their main color. So I thought I'd sort of do the invert of the traditional black and orange to a white and orange. So this is it here. If you don't like orange, this build probably isn't for you. I'm still about 50-50 whether I like the orange, uh, orange theme or not. But uh, overall, I think it did come out uh, rather nice. So what I'll do is I'll go through uh, some of the light mods I did. I only had a short time to complete this build. I think it was only a few days. I'll go through all the hardware that the sponsors have pitched in and so on. So sort of the main um, troubles I had with, uh, especially going with colors like orange, it's very hard to get all the colors to match. I did get the case uh, powder coated. Now, when I do have a short time frame, I will get the case powder coated. Powder coating uh, has a very short cure time. Pretty much once it's done, it is good to go. You can like manhandle it, you can start using it. Whereas if I went to paint this myself, I need to prep I need a few days to paint it and then the cure time by doing it yourself is I like to have a couple of weeks and especially this is going to be shipped down. Once you start putting uh, foam packaging around, if you haven't let uh, the paint cure for long enough, it'll all stick and it'll start to come off. So definitely had to go powder coating. I got some powder coated in a gloss orange and some powder coated in a uh, sort of a matte white. They call it a Sahara white, which is meant to be uh, fingerprint proof, which does actually work pretty good. So yeah, so I got those two colors done. I sort of selected some random parts to go orange. I got the feet done orange. I of course got the poles that hold the side panel orange. I got the uh, sort of screws to be done orange and uh, sort of the PSU shroud bit. Now I did do the power supply myself. I did the top cover white and then also the little fan grill on top orange. So pretty much the main colors I had to match was the uh, gloss that the powder coaters did, the orange I chose for the power supply and then also the uh, vinyl wrap. I used vinyl wrap on the side panel and on the power supply bit for there. Uh, model number there and then you've got the coolant as well. I think I might make the coolant a little bit darker I will ship some bottles down uh, with the build so it's a premix one It is the EK so they can add a little bit more of the concentrate just to get it a little bit darker because at the moment It is looking a little bit light um, Some other things I did I did this on a lot of my Cougar Concord builds I do add mesh up here and then on the front as well. Now it does restrict a little bit of the airflow at the front, but in saying that, the whole bottom of this panel and the whole top is completely open. So it's not like it's gonna be restricting it that much. So I just pretty much paint that orange. I did go through, through a few different colors of orange uh, spray paint to try and get one that was similar. And then I just simply stick it on the inside. Now, if you're ever looking for mesh, just um, you're probably gonna be hard for you guys because I, I have a lot of uh, a lot of old cases from reviews and so on. A lot of cases come with magnetic dust filters. I simply just cut those dust filters up with scissors and then I just stick them on in the inside. But yeah, that is a neat trick if you wanna go with a mesh option like that. Now, another thing you probably notice is this full cover side panel. I do this a lot, especially on this build. If you're familiar with it, it does have this panel that sort of goes on the front like that. And then they have a much smaller side panel like this, which goes like pretty much like that. So that'll sit like that. And then you have this panel goes down like this. Now there's a few reasons why I like to do my own. One, with doing it my own, it is completely clear. I do like, especially when it's a white build, I love having a completely clear transparent side panel with no tint. Uh, second is I can extend the viewing of the system or as if you have this here, you have completely blocked out this really nice looking uh, Bixky distro panel. Now in saying that with this uh, Bixky distro panel, this is their second revision for the Cougar Conqueror. If you use their first revision for the Cougar Conqueror, it did have a lot of coolant bleed. Uh, they had a lot of channels that shared. Uh, they didn't have O-rings between certain channels. And saying that when I say coolant bleed, like it's not leaking coolant, you just get uh, bleeding between uh, between different channels, which isn't a really big deal. But if you're using like a colored coolant, you can see that uh, coolant sort of smearing over 
through the actual block. But this one, they have uh, O-rings between every single compartment, so you don't get any bleed as well. So I really do like that. And it does come in a nice frosted, uh, a nice frosted acrylic, and when you got that orange cooling in, it does look pretty sweet. But yeah, in saying that, with this side panel being bigger, you can actually see the whole system. So the way I go about doing that, I just order a large rectangle size piece of acrylic from my uh, local plastic guys. Uh, this is 4.5 millimeters thick. And then I just simply trace around this one. I chase, trace around this one as much as I want, uh, I want to do. So I trace around up the top. And then I just sort of do guesswork on the rest on how far I want it to come. Like I don't have to do it like this. I could come out higher, I could come out lower. But what I try to do is just follow the rest of the chassis around. And that's pretty much it. Cut it out with a jigsaw. Uh, I use a bimetal blade. I've used an acrylic blade before, but I find a bimetal specific blade works much better than the acrylic specific blade. And then I just go to town with sand in the edge. I put a bevel on the edge. I use quite a lot of different grits of sandpaper. Then I use a polisher and I get this up looking really, really good. And it shows a lot of reflections. Now that's pretty much it on the most of the mods. Really, really simple. It just goes to show, to show that you don't have to do a heap of mods to get a nice clean looking build. And of course, I do have a aluminum sort of power supply cover on the very end. That's just covering up the cables because I couldn't get uh, replacement cables for the power supply. I had to use extensions. So as you can see, the, these cables are all white and one's coming out of the power supply with black. So I just bent a bit of aluminum, uh, painted it, uh, stuck it in the corner there and that covers up the cables. Yeah, moving on to the hardware, I've already covered the Cougar Con Conqueror chassis. It is the Passwise the GXF750 from Cougar as well. Uh, pretty much anything that is can be Cougar will be Cougar branded because it is for their booth. Uh, that was originally black. I stripped that down, painted it uh, white. There is still a little bit black here. There's only so much you can do on a power supply unless you want to desolder the contact points for the switch, desolder the plug, rip all that out. I could have done it all, but I really didn't want to go tampering with that. Uh, Asus were also a big sponsor of this. They've thrown in their Asus X570 Prime Pro. It was originally going to be a Strix board, but because I wanted to do a white theme, I said, hey, can we get the Prime instead? They said, yep, sure. So we've gone with this white Prime. And the first time I've used the Prime motherboard, and I think it just blends in really nicely with this build. Uh, the Asus 5700 XT, that's in here uh, with the water block, mind you. All the water cooling is Bixky, and that's got a Bixky water block on that 5700 XT. And I really do like uh, some of the blocks that Bixky are coming out with, especially with this angular term, uh, terminal design. Once you get light shining through this, it really shines off on a lot of angles. Uh, of course, we've got a Ryzen 3900X CPU. ADAT have come to the party with their memory and their SSD. They've got a one terabyte S40G RGB SSD over there. And then we have 16 gigs of ADAT D40G RGB memory. Now you saw at the start of this video, I had, a, uh, had the build with the lights off and with the lights on. Personally, I think the build looks better with the lights off, sort of like this. I wanna know your thoughts. Do you think it looks better with the lights on, especially with the uh, the fans I chose, uh, the Cougar White, uh, they're stuck at white. I can't even turn the LEDs off, only because it's a three pin header for the fans and incorporate the LEDs as well. I would have maybe liked to see what it looks like with the fan lights off. But uh, yeah, what's your thoughts on have, having like the RAM orange, the SSD orange, and then the rest of the lights white. But to me, I kind of think it looks really clean with all the lights off. And then cable mod, once again, I use them in all my builds. Are there pro cables? This is their white sleeving and their new anodized uh, combs. I've gone with the orange. And I don't think the orange looks too far off. Once again, with anodizing, it's always going to look different. Like this here is anodized, and you can see this pretty much matches the same color of the combs, but it doesn't match anything else because anodized colors are very different than traditional colors. And then once again, Bixie water cooling all around. That's their pre-bent tubing, which is a dream to work with, so easy to use. And then their radiators, fittings, and water blocks. But yeah, that's pretty much it on this build. If you're going to uh, PAX Australia this year, be, be sure to check out the uh, Cougar booth. Uh, take a selfie if this build, if you want, throw it on the GGF uh, Facebook page and we will check it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank Cougar and all the sponsors for uh, getting all this build together. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one.